Once you have completed your final design, there are several things you can do to give your plans a better presentation quality. The first thing that I want to do is check my plan line weights to see how this will look when I print it out. I'll go over here to the right side of my screen and click on line weights to show the line thickness in the floor plan view. Now let's zoom in to see what this looks like. You can see that the wall lines are a bit thicker than the dimension lines and the cabinet lines, but I want my walls to really pop. So I will select the wall and here in the edit toolbar at the bottom, you will find the object layer properties button. That will bring up all of the layers that this object is using. The line weights are determined by the layer they are on, unless the object has been customized, which I'll show you in a moment. Here you can see the line color, weight, and style. I want to change my walls to a heavy line weight, so I'll change this to 50 by entering that into the line weight field here. You can see now that it is thicker than it was. You can also change line weights in multiple layers by using your active layer display options here at the right side of your screen. If you don't see this displayed, click on the active layer display options button here. If you don't have anything selected in your screen, you will see all of the layers that Chief is using for everything in your plan. You can isolate the layers for an object by selecting it. Then the only layers that show up here on the right are the layers that are used by that object. In the layers list, you can see all of the cabinet layers together. I want to change the cabinet's base, cabinet's full, and cabinet's wall to a little bit thicker line. So I can select one, hold down my control key, and then select the other two. Then here at the bottom, I can type in the value for the line weight I want to see. I also want to see my dimension lines a little smaller. So I will select a dimension line here. Then in the active layer display options, it will isolate the layer that it is on, and I will change this from 18 to five. That will make them quite a bit thinner lines. I also want to change the furniture layer to a really light line weight. You can also change the line color in the layer display options. Again, I will select my cabinet layers and change the color to black so that they stand out. You can also change the line weight in an individual object. Let's say that I want my custom countertop here to really show up, but I don't want everything on that layer to change. Double click on the object. Then here in the line style panel, change the line weight or the line style or the color that you wanna see. If you make changes to this object's layer, it will not change the customized properties of this object. One of the things that I can do is change and add fills to objects on the floor plan view. The cabinets already have fills that help to distinguish the different cabinet types. You can change each individual cabinet fill by double clicking on a cabinet and in the cabinet specification dialog, go to the fill style panel here. You can see that it is following the fill defaults for base cabinets. But if you click on the drop down here, you can select a different fill style and change the color here. I'll click undo. And instead, I wanna change all of the base cabinets at once by going into the cabinet defaults. Here in your toolbar, you will find the little white wrench, which is the symbol for defaults. Go down to the cabinets and click on the drop down. Here, I will select the base cabinet defaults. Go to fill style, and I'm going to leave it as a solid fill, but I want to change it to a light gray. Now I will click OK and notice that it has changed all of the base cabinets to a light gray fill. Let's also change the full height cabinets to a lighter gray. To easily get to the defaults for a specific object type, you can double click on the tool that creates that object. I'll double click here on the full heights cabinet tool and change the fill color here. Now let's double click on the wall cabinets tool to get the wall cabinets defaults. And here I want to change the color to a blue gray. You can also add a degree of transparency to the solid. I will add a 60% transparency so that I can see any objects that might be placed under it, 
like the under cabinet lighting, or a small appliance like the blender here on the countertop below. Now I want to use a fill to indicate a change in the floor material from this area to this one. You can do this by adding a fill to an entire room. The kitchen here will be tile, so I will double click on the kitchen to open the room specification dialog. Here under fill, I will select the grid angle to indicate tile. I'll change the scale to show a 12 by 12 tile and change the color to a very light gray so that it's subtle. Here in this room, let's use a CAD polyline to show just a small area. I'll go to my CAD tools here in the toolbar and place a rectangular polyline. Then you can select the polyline and use the edit tools here in the edit toolbar at the bottom to create breaks in the polyline. and then move the edit handles around to make it a more organic shape. Then double click on the polyline to open the specification dialog and add fill here. Let's use the vertical hatch to indicate hardwood and give it a scale of 5 inches. And I don't want my polyline to actually display so I will go to the line style panel here and under the drop down you will find a no line line type. It just looks like a space between these two line types. You can also add fills to individual objects like my custom countertop. I'll double click here on the countertop and under fill style I will select the concrete fill to indicate the granite that I'm using. I'll make it a darker gray with a scale of 2 and on this one I want to leave the background so that it overwrites the floor tile fill under it. In your elevation cross-section views you also have the option to change line weights and add fills where you want. The line weights here will be different than in the floor plan because it's using a different layer set. These settings are specific to the layer set that is active. Here it is using the kitchen and bath elevation layers, not the kitchen and bath layer set indicated here in the floor plan. So here in the elevation view, let's select the cabinet layers, base, hold down my control key and select full and wall and change the line weights to 35. Then I'll click on the window which will isolate the layer here on the right. And I want to make this more subtle, so I'll change the line weight to 20. Select a dimension and change that line weight to 5. I also want the tile fill to be more subtle. For this, I will need to adjust the material that is applied to the backsplash. Go to the toolbar at the top and click on the Adjust Material Definition tool. And click on the backsplash to open the Define Material dialog. Under Pattern, you will find the pattern and colors that will display in any camera view using the Vector View Rendering technique. This is simply a type of fill. Here I want my tile to be a lighter color, so I will select the material color here and use the slide bar at the right to lighten it up a bit. Click OK. Then click on the line color and I'm going to change the color here by using the material eyedropper and then click on the same color that's shown here in material color, but then darken it up by using the slide bar here. You can also use shaped polylines with fill in the elevation view to clean up the images that you want to see. So I will use a rectangle polyline and put it on this base cabinet, use my break line tool and then edit handles to reshape it, open it up and create a fill with the color white and then click OK and then let's do the same to the wall cabinet create a, a rectangle polyline use the open object tool to open that up add a fill with the color white click OK and that kind of cleans up the ends of the cabinets for us 
Once you have made the changes to your floor plan and elevations, you can send them to layout ready for print for sending to your clients, contractors, and building agencies.